Hey, what's up dudes and dudettes? Hope everyone's doing well today. Um, today I'm going to show you how to download Custom Themes Manager to your PlayStation Vita. It's super easy. It's great. You can customize your, th your Vita and it looks great as well. Um, I'm pretty sure you can make your own themes. I'm sure there's um, something on the website where you can download and you start um, making your own. But uh, let's get started. Um, I'll leave all the links down below. What you want to do is download this little file that I just clicked on, showing you right there. After that, head over to your PS Vita, and once your Vita boots up or it's already in, take it out of sleep mode, you want to go to Vita Shell, click Start, wait a few seconds for the Vita Shell to load up. What you want to do now is hit the Select button, and the FTP server will pop up with a bunch of rando numbers. Head back over to your PC, your desktop, your laptop. Um, find the download folder or wherever you have your files downloaded. Mine's in the download folder. As you can tell, you see the .vpk file. I opened up a second folder to make things a lot easier. And I'm just um, splitting up both folders side by side to make my life a lot easier to transfer over file. Or I should say files or whatever to uh, the PlayStation Vita server. So I open up UXO, go down to the VPK folder. Now on my desktop, my computer, just drag over the .vpk file into the UXO slash VPK folder. Now head back over to the PS Vita, close out that little message. After that, you want to open up the VPK folder, and you see it right there, the CT Manager. I apologize for the glare and the blurriness. I'm still recording on the silly ass GoPro, up close and personal. Once you install the, the little packet, wait till it installs. I reboot the whole system to go back to the main menu, dash dashboard. Once it reboots, scroll down to your new bubble where it says Custom Themes Manager. I apologize for the glare, the blurriness, the shitty quality, recording on a potato. But here it is, guys. Once the app loads up, hit that second button um, to the right from the first icon. And I'm, right now I'm going to show you the different um, themes that people have created for the PS Vita. Some of them are good. Some of them are not that great. Um... There's some really loud pictures that people used for uh, the main dashboard themes and stuff like that. So things look kind of bombarded and cluttered, which I don't really care for. Um, I'm into as um, abstract themes and stuff like that. Um, the best thing to do is actually go on the website um, and browse on your computer first. So you know what you're actually going to be getting instead of wasting your bandwidth and stuff like that. I'm downloading really crummy themes that look like dog crap but that's what I would do the nice thing is about the website is that it actually will have like a golden um, sticker that says validated that's when you know that the themes are perfectly correct no errors no nothing so just forewarning so I finally found myself a theme it's the last of us I'm playing the second one right now I like it so far I didn't get too far into it but um, the nice thing about this application is you could see the pictures beforehand as well. And it gives you a list of commands to use with the buttons so you know what to do and stuff like that. So I'm just downloading the zip file right now. And like I said earlier, if you've got a badass connection and uh, whatnot, it's going to go by a lot quicker. Once you get the a message with the red text, um, it is almost done. All right. After it gets done, you get booted back to the, uh, to the screen. And right from here, it says press start to write to the above custom themes data into your database. So you want to hit the start button on your PS Vita. Once you hit the start and it's all done, you get the check mark. Go back to the main menu. Now hit the first icon with the PS Vita. And you'll come up to the themes. Select your theme that you just downloaded. Install that. You're all set, guys. It's easy as that. Let's back out. 
back out to the main menu or dashboard and your themes will be installed it should look like this now here is the lock screen um, when you first boot up the PS Vita and this is what you'll be getting um, there is audio for this as well um, but I hope you guys enjoyed please be safe please be kind everyone and hopefully I'll catch you guys later